The process of recovery for a southern city, Lake Charles, hit by a string of natural disasters with volunteers stepping up to help as the city waits to hear about more federal aid. Let's go back to Rob, who's there right now. And Rob, I know you have been covering all of these disasters down there over the last several months. And this is a place near and dear to my heart. I used to live in this town, but they've had a very, very tough and right on cue. Look at that. A rainbow just over this damaged church from Hurricane Laura. So just a, a, a little signal of hope here, and they certainly need it. Yesterday, we celebrated the Blue Angels and the air show being back here in Lake Charles. Today, we want to uh, shine a spotlight on the very slow recovery after a slew of weather disasters. Two hurricanes, an ice storm, and an epic flood, all in nine months. Water was up to here. Like so many in Lake Charles, Kevin Guidry, former NFL and LSU football star, has been hit hard by them all. People right now, mentally, that's the biggest thing. When you walk around and talk to your neighbors, you feel a sense of sadness. He was fixing damage from the first three disasters, then another flood. We had contractors in that were, that were doing stuff, and all of that got put on hold, stopped. The mayor of Lake Charles losing patience, waiting for Congress to approve supplemental funding. There are Americans suffering here in southwest Louisiana, and we have not received the same proper commensurate federal response that other natural disasters have received. Senator Bill Cassidy pleading the case to Congress last month to no avail. We cannot afford to allow the impact of an entire year's worth of natural disasters to go unaddressed. FEMA telling ABC News they have been in the area since before Hurricane Laura and continue to work in Lake Charles to assist survivors by providing grants, loans, and housing to those who are eligible. Since Hurricane Laura, FEMA has approved more than $1.1 billion in statewide assistance. That's nearly 300 million individual assistance dollars, more than 650 million in SBA disaster loans, and nearly 150 million in national flood insurance claims. And where the government isn't, volunteer missions have stepped in, many from Texas. Right now we're just cleaning it up. We took uh, everything out of the house. You can see the debris pile here. Everything that was in the house was wet and spoiled and beginning to accumulate mold. For many in Lake Charles, it's the kindness of these strangers that means the most. The one thing is, we're going to make it. They will make it, but it's going to be a very slow and tough go. The one thing that we talk to when we talk to people about that they say uh, is prevalent throughout the area is that insurance claims to commercial insurance companies are not being paid to the point where people are having to, to hire lawyers in order to make any progress. I talked to one lawyer who said he had over 600 claims against commercial insurance companies, and that's just one lawyer. Frustrating times here, to say the least. Yeah, Dan, that sounds incredibly frustrating. But, Rob, you've been a great booster for Lake Charles, so thank you for your work this weekend and uh, throughout the past few months. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.